I am so, so excited to tell you all this. So I really hope that you've stuck around to this far into the vlog. <laughs> How's it going? Today I am 21 weeks pregnant and we are now officially over the halfway mark. But to get right into my symptoms, I've been having a lot of headaches. I like wake up with one. I always wake up with one and it's kind of dull. Uh, sometimes it will develop into more of a headache and I have to take something for it. Sometimes it doesn't. It just depends. But this week I have woken up every single day with some form of headache and it's been not fun. <laughs> Also this week, I'm starting to tell where Andy is laying inside of me. I can't tell it 100% of the time, but a lot of the times I can be like, oh, she's transverse right now, or oh, she's uh, butt up, head down right now, or you know what I mean? I can like get a feel for where she's laying and how she's laying. I thought that was really neat that that's something I've been uh, noticing this week. And this week was about to be pretty boring symptom-wise until last night. <laughs> last night was awful and if I look a little rough today it's because of last night I didn't go to bed until like 1 30 in the morning last night which with this pregnancy has been very typical she just does not want me to sleep no matter how tired I am or am not and I woke up at 4 30 in the morning this morning just nauseous like I had the stomach virus nauseous like that kind like you know you need to throw up you know you're about to be sick but you can't you're letting like that in between place so I threw up and then not long after that I threw up again but but I still didn't go to bed until like 7 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> And then the girls had me up and down, up and down, up and down until about 11. I know that sounds really late, but because I was up, they were up. Because I was walking around and I was very nauseous and throwing up, it woke the girls up. So they were up at like 5 o'clock, I want to say, like 5 or 5.30, I want to say they were about up. And so they were up early. So because they got broken sleep, I got broken sleep and oh, guys... But how I was feeling this morning, I thought it was a stomach virus, but it's not because if it would have been, I would have been sick a lot longer than I was. So I'm pretty sure it's just pregnancy related, but I have never done that. I've never woken up that early in the morning, sicker than a dog. That's a first for me. I'm so sorry, you guys. I get like really TMI in my pregnancy vlogs. I'm really sorry. I mean, I guess part of me should be like, you know, people are going to watch this and people are going to know what's going on with your body. Isn't that a little concerning? Not really. It's normal and I want people to know that it's normal. So I feel constipated this week and actually I didn't even know that I was until last night <laughs> when I was throwing up and I also had the, you know, runs downstairs. Gosh, this is a lot of information. I'm so sorry you all. But that's a symptom that I've also noticed this week. On to a symptom that is less TMI. I craved spaghetti this week, but that's probably the only craving I've had this week that I can think of. Uh, I didn't crave anything crazy or different or really anything at all. <laughs> the only thing I've wanted this week is spaghetti and we had that for dinner in a day in the life vlog, I do believe. But that's all I have for cravings this week. To give you guys a weight update because every week I always do. Last week I was 160, I do believe. I think I told you guys I was 160. I'm now 158. I've lost a couple pounds, but probably because I was throwing up last night. That's the only thing I can conclude is that it was from last night because I was throwing up so much. So I think that's the only reason I lost a couple pounds because I normally don't do that in pregnancy. <laughs> but I'm 158, which puts me at 13 pounds over pre-pregnancy. In other news, I wanted to share with you guys how we got baby girl's name. If you haven't seen our gender name reveal video, I will link it down below so you can watch that. But just don't laugh at me when I tell you this. But I actually got Andy from the movie Little Falkers. <laughs> I know that's like really bizarre, but I did. I was watching Little Fockers and uh, one of the characters in the movie, her name is Andy Garcia, and I just kind of stopped and I was like, ooh, that's really pretty. I really like that. Andy's a really pretty, unique name. I love it. It's a boy name for a girl, which I also love, and I was like, ooh, I like that. So I suggested it to Devin, I threw it out there to him, and he was like, I like that too. So that's how we got Andy. You all know that I love family names for middle names. I just love that it's a connection between those people and it's something that they all share and it's special to them. I really, really love that. So originally Andy's middle name was going to be Ray, R-A-Y. My uh, dad has a brother who passed away when my dad was like 12 or 13 years old and his middle name is Ray. And technically a family member already has that middle name. My cousin Jacob, his middle name is Ray. 
So I was going to change it to R-A-E because I thought that was, you know, feminine and unique and I really liked that. But I threw it out there to Devin and I asked him what he thought and he said, well, I like it, but when you say it out loud, Andy Ray, it sounds like a boy. And I don't want people to, you know, say her name out loud without seeing the spelling of her name and think that she's a he. And I was like, well, <laughs> that's kind of a good point. So he suggested Andy Ray Lynn and I really loved that. And I didn't even know until I talked to my mom a couple of days ago because I forgot. I have a first cousin, her middle name is Lynn. And I totally forgot that her middle name is Lynn. And I was like, oh my gosh, Devin, this is so special. Andy's middle name is now the combination of two family members. And I was like, that, I love that. And the last bit of news that I have for you guys, I am so, so excited to tell you all this. So I really hope that you've stuck around to this far into the vlog. <laughs> I have two unboxings and two review videos coming up within the next two-ish weeks, something like that. And I so can't wait. Two of these are sponsored, but I wanted to say this before we even get to those videos because I know my pregnancy vlogs get a lot of views, so I wanted all of my subscribers to know this. Just so you guys know, I will never, ever, 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 I hope you got that, ever, shove products into your all's faces for no reason. I'm not that kind of person. I never will be. You guys know, especially if you watch this pregnancy vlog and heard all that TMI I just told you guys, you all know that I'm honest and I'm real with you guys. I will never sugarcoat stuff. I will never shove products in your faces for absolutely no reason. So I just wanted you guys to know that before we get there. And I'm so excited to do this, especially because one of these companies has never, never had an unboxing or a review video done ever before. I've always been interested in like review and unboxing videos. And I'm just really excited that I finally have the chance to do one and share this with you guys. Now I'm going to show you guys my 21 week belly. But this is my 21 week bump. This is with the shirt on. And this is with the shirt up. For those of you who aren't subscribed to my channel don't already know, I have an umbilical hernia, which is why my belly button looks so strange. It's not just pregnancy, it's the hernia as well. I'm getting it fixed after I have this baby. But yeah. You can probably see all of my stretch marks, but that's what that's what happens when you have kids. And back around. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss my unboxing and review videos coming up because it's going to be really exciting. If you like this video, thumbs it up and share it, and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.